And 7 News reporter Mark Stewart always investigating. And Mark, you've learned a Colorado lawmaker will soon introduce an assault weapon ban in Washington. That's right, and Representative Ed Perlmutter will introduce that legislation after the first of the year. His move comes as parents look for new and novel ways to protect their children. Yet another busy day inside the state office that handles background checks. We've seen numbers in the thousands each and every day. Backups at the CBI for buyership and concealed weapon permits ever since the Sandy Hook shooting. We are bringing in staff from other work units, and then we're also expanding the work hours of InstaCheck. As parents arm themselves, they're also arming their children. This company in Utah named Amendment 2 makes bulletproof backpacks, even body armor for children. Selling for $150 a piece, sales are strong. The concept came up as things happened at schools. Children need protection as well. Parents aren't the only ones paying attention. The president now creating a task force to reinstate the assault weapons ban. The vice president will lead the effort. Recommendations will come in January. We won't prevent them all, but that can be an excuse not to try. And looking ahead to Friday, the National Rifle Association will make its first public comments about the shooting. And that is significant because the NRA is a very powerful lobbying group in Washington. And its input most likely will have some kind of influence on that future legislation. Live in Denver tonight, Mark Stewart, 7 News.